Well, a communication specialist at the Ministry of Energy resigns hours after threatening to release mails to exonerate sacked sector minister. Also this afternoon, government is set to go ahead with the double-track educational system despite concerns raised. We'll be getting some details on that as well. And on the foreign front, jailed former First Lady of Ivory Coast, Simone Gbagbo, granted amnesty by President Alassane Ouattara. We'll also get details of that and more, including sports and entertainment, coming up in the next 60 minutes. Don't forget that we're live on DSTV channel 279. Also get interactive with us via our social media platforms instagram twitter as well as facebook now let's start the bulletin off with this trending issue or following the resignation um, the sacking of the energy minister now communication specialist at the ministry of energy nana damwa has resigned from his post barely 24 hours after the sector minister boache ejako was dismissed by President Nanado Dankwai Kufuado over a controversially renegotiated Ameri deal. Nanadamwa, who was vocal in defending the deal, that received total rejection from the ordinary people through to the energy experts, threatened Monday evening to release emails to ostensibly demonstrate no wrongdoing on the part of Boache Ejakon. Or there were others involved in the deal as well. Now, many Ghanaians are already demanding full disclosure on the deal, which has reportedly been abandoned, especially circumstances surrounding how the president was allegedly misled into giving an executive approval to the deal. For some people, the dismissed energy minister may have acted with others on the deal, which was sent to parliament last month for approval, but had to be put aside for the government to furnish the house with some critical information. Moments after Boache Jaco was sacked Monday, Nana Damwa wrote on his personal Facebook page, and it read, It's time for the emails. Let's play. He is to blame, Abi. He did, he did it alone, right? Okay, 